You said, say that again, please? I said, how could he be a federal agent and be a Nazi? Stop doing what you're doing. What? All because she's sending her grandma all these texts threatening it, right? Yeah. Now look, her grandma won't let her see a fucking stone. And I told her, I said, stop doing that because it's gonna fucking have repercussions. I have videotape of her mother's birthday when I came to meet you guys at the park. She called her grandmother on the phone, okay, to set up a, a, a meeting. What? And you touched her on the leg and you said you should go. And that you touching her on the leg and telling her she should go. Made her switch to her other personality. What do you mean? I was trying to see my son. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Are you in the neighborhood? No. Why? Kind of. Why? Well, why? Because you said you wanted to see him. Is that what you said? Yes. Oh. Stop. Seriously. Go. Oh. Just let me call you back. What? Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Oh, damn. Kind of depressed, fool. I don't want to fucking even move. I don't think I've even left this spot. You want to go see your son real quick? She was on the phone with her grandmother to set up a meeting to see her baby. Right, and I said you should go see your baby. And that immediately triggered her to go back to the... Yeah. That triggered her to go to the other personality. And then all of a sudden, she's like, I, I can't go. I can't go. Right, but what's that guy? I'm talking about she, because her grandma wouldn't wire her money mm -hmm. to come back. I'm sitting in the backyard. How did he get out? Want to take a look because he's never gotten out before. There must be a hole. We should probably look for it because I was sitting right here. I have, I was vining with him 30 seconds before that happened. That. Huh? Look at these fucking holes. Uh huh. There's holes all over the yard. Uh -huh. I told you numerous times. He gets out. He's a fucking sneaky ass dog. He's never left since I've been here. Well, he just left. Yes, that's kind of interesting. Because I'm sitting right here. He was just in my lap. Next time I tell you, he's my fucking dog. Then why does he if keep running away from you? Back, why does he keep running away from you? He don't run away from me. He just left, dude. Exactly. And you were watching him, dumbass. I wasn't watching him. I was sitting right here, dude. But I fucking tell you about my dog. I was Numerous sitting fucking right here. times, dude. Numerous times. Yes. If you're going to have my dog outside, uh -huh. fucking watch him. If you're I not am be watching him. Apparently not, dumbass, because he got out. How? How did he get out? What? Don't hit me because I'm fuck fucking sleeping, dumbass. You're the one with him outside, you fucking retard. Don't, let, don't you want to know how we got out? So you have I to know how he got out, how? motherfucker. Throughout the, the house, homeboy. Throughout the house. Look at the fucking house, you that fucking hole. retard. He went under the hole. Yes, hulls. and there's another hole on the backside, you fucking idiot. Well, he couldn't get to that one. All he's got to do is go underneath the house, you fucking jackass. Well, that day used to work. Go look at the fucking hole by my window. No, I know how they get out. But Tank has never left before just now. He just left now, motherfucker. Why? He's left numerous times. Uh, he's never left since I've been here. Does that... I don't understand, dude. Oh, fuck. Remember when I had that van for a few days? Yeah. For a week? And then you guys were, were all at the storage unit. You and her were in the storage unit, and I was sitting outside. Yeah. I heard her say, quote, Don't snap your fingers at me. I'm not a dog. And then you did one big, huge snap of your fingers. And then her head dropped to her chest, and then it raised back up, and she said, what do I do? And you told her to go to sleep, and then she laid down and went to sleep. Can you explain that to me? Snap, I might have clapped. No, you snapped your fingers because, yes. That's as loud as I can snap. Yes. Right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well, I don't know hypnosis. 
but well, then why did she? I'm tell a convict, bro. I don't read into books, and I'm not into hypnosis like well, that. Well, then how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how'd you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I. Well, she didn't have it closed that moment then. Okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I watched. Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set, she would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out. If my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long, trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking, that's what I'm telling you, your, your hypnosis things. I know I know you got fucking, your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay, well, I'm telling you, your imagination is huge. Okay. You got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. I'm coming over here as a man, trying to talk to you as another man. Okay, and, and I'm telling yeah, you what. Yeah, I told what her, I... yeah, I was going to come over here and be violent, but I fucking, I got so, so much. So where is she going. now? What She's you walking do? over here. But I got so much fucking shit going on in my head that the last thing I'm fucking worried about is violence. Then I heard him say, and your Jew father. So I turned my camera on. See what happens next. Stop it! Fuck, dude! What is wrong with you, dude? She sits there and tells me she hates me and all this, dude. Uh -huh. All right? I go and get her motherfucking name blasted on me. Uh-huh. I'm fucking dedicated to that bitch. So why'd you just come after me? Baby, Victoria, stop. Hey, baby, Victoria, baby, stop. Baby, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. 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 I was uh, robbed in Lancaster. I'm homeless and I'm sleeping by the DMV. Someone stole all of my stuff. They stole my backpack and my suitcase next to my head while I was sleeping. Did you report that to Lancaster? Yeah, oh yeah, there's a report, of course. They stole everything I own. Anyway, the next day uh, at the homeless showers, a girl gets in line next to me and she's wearing one of my hats. That's right there by the Metro League station, yeah, correct? Yeah, exactly. She's wearing one of my hats and I say to her, that's my hat. She gives it right back to me. But then her boyfriend gets in my face. He's like, who the fuck are you, man? That's not your hat, blah, blah, like in my face. And I said, you know who stole my stuff, who stole it? He goes, what do we look like, narcs to you? I'm like, yeah, actually you do. I did get robbed. But you do rob people. What's that? I So, burglary. So, someone's sleeping over there against the wall. You grab their suitcase and they're, you didn't steal my shit. Why would I feel so much suitcase? Why don't you tell me why? I'm in the same situation you are. Yeah, so why would you steal all my shit? I didn't. You did. You did, Narc. Huh? I said you did, Narc. Narc? Yeah. 
you know what a knock is? Yeah, I do know what a knock is. I think it's amazing you come over and start a conversation with me after stealing all my shit. Small fucking world, huh? Yeah. Alright. Karma's a bitch! Because I've been an activist for nine years, and I've been dealing with this shit for nine years. So what happened in Kern County? Well, in Kern County, all the th times that he's hit me, I'm about to show you what he punched me in the face. Okay. But we wanted to, you wanted the, the back story first. Okay, so the back story is that the day after his best friend robbed everything I own, he gets in my face. So this character that you said his name is Jace? Jace, or yeah, he goes by Youngster is the street Jace name. Jace or Youngster? Yes. You're saying it's his friend that stole your his stuff best in friend, County? Yeah, his best friend okay. stole all of my stuff. And I told the LA, de the deputies know the guy's name. Definitely. They had him in custody okay. and they did nothing. The day after they stole my stuff, he gets in my face. Now he's with his girlfriend at this place. They're Your holding daughter, hands. Correct? No, no. Our, this, we're back in LA County. Back in LA County. Gotcha. The day after President's Day when everything was stolen from me. Okay? This guy is standing next to they happen to get in line next to me with my stuff and he gets in my face. Now unbeknownst to me, at that very same week, he is breaking up with that girl who was wearing my hat and calling my daughter, who was completely on the other end of town. Just coincidence in a town of 156,000 people, he's just also getting into my daughter's life. Okay, well it's not against the law for him to call her. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Okay, so just confirming you are not on your way over there and you're not going to go over there? I have no way to get over there. Okay. And I've called the police on this guy about 11 fucking times. He's violent. He's attacked me three times. I've shown the deputies three different videos of him physically attacking me. She, uh -huh. he, she's he, they, deputies have gone over there and seen a black eye on her and just decided not to do anything about that. Um, and now she's calling again, saying, "Please call the police." So if you call okay. her and he sees a call from nine one one, he might hurt her. Well, it doesn't pop up as nine one one when we call people, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay. But we'll send somebody out there again. Okay. That'd be great. And thank you. Yeah. He's a federal agent, and that's why I'm not telling you where they are right now because. Unless, and until this is going to come out that he's a federal agent, undercover, torturing us. This is, is, the is... The friend is, or your daughter's boyfriend? Both of them. Okay. They're yeah. both federal agents, or they're both torturing you? I think it's clever, Good. You're, this guy's good. They're both uh, federal agents. Okay. And how, how do you, why do you think they're federal agents? Well, if you never let me tell the story, we'll get to that. Well, I'm trying okay. to get you to cut to the chase. I'm not too concerned. There's about no chase. You okay. already made the report for your stolen belongings yes. in L.A. County. I'm yes. really not concerned okay. about what Well, I'm explaining to you I'm what... trying to get to the okay. meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes story. is that all of a sudden now this guy's in my life. Okay, He's my, the, the best friend of the guy who stole my stuff. He's now Victoria's boyfriend. And while we're at the storage unit, because we were homeless and at the storage unit, I heard her say, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then I saw this, just a big snap, and her head went like this. But no physical contact. Can you listen, snapping. please listen to what I'm telling you, okay? Listen, very carefully. This is what she did. He snapped her f his fingers, her head dropped, okay. it raised up slowly. She said, what do I do now? He said, go to sleep. She laid down and went to sleep. Okay. okay. Now he is the fourth boyfriend in a row. Did okay. I? Can we pause you? Yeah. So he hypnotized her. He didn't actually forcibly hit her or anything. That's what we're getting at. We need some clarification. Yeah, I, I'm, so I'm talking about how I'm, I'm talking about how he hypnotized her. Okay. Yes. And he's now the the fourth boyfriend in a row who I've caught hypnotizing her. Okay. And I have copious videos of her of us talking about it. They have manipulated her. They have put her under. No, I mean, you, you, see, you stopped me in the middle of that because you're trying to try to find where the assault was. I'm explaining that he was hypnotizing her. And that's what I'm now trying that's, to make sure I'm tracking you. You understand? Yeah. That's, that's, sure this is a serious, right. that's, a, that's a different kind of assault, but you're both under... Yeah, I don't know you're that hypno hypnosis putting, is assault. Putting somebody intentionally into hypnosis state so you can abuse them is... That, that's just... I, I, that, I don't think there's a criminal statute for that, to be honest with you. Really?
think there's a criminal statute for that, to be honest with you. Really? Not that I'm aware of. Wow. And you said he made her go to sleep. That 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 time. That's, that's not abuse. Okay. <laughs> As far as you being chest bumped on the 12th, yeah. what do you want done with that? That's a battery that occurred outside of our presence. Would you like a police report for that? Can I show you the other two times when he punched me in the face? Yeah, please. He saw you. You opened the door. No, I didn't, motherfucker. What are you talking about? What the fuck, dude? I you in your face, dude. You didn't get the fucking hit when I went and sat in Starbucks and all the fucking cops. No, I didn't, homie. I went like this. I looked out the fucking window, seen that he was right there, and dipped right back around the corner. And didn't think to say anything to me when they're asking for me? You were standing right there. I was standing over here. I didn't see anything to you. I walked to the fucking door, you're all. I didn't know. I thought you had a visitor. If it wasn't for her right there, I'd have beat the fuck out of you, dude. For telling cops that you were... I didn't know, dude. You opened the door. What'd you just say? I said I didn't know, dude. The fuck? That, yeah, he yesterday he punched. He, he started a fight with her. He manipulates her back and forth between the personality that hates him and the personality that loves him. She has multiple personalities. And this was a verbal argument between the two of them. They were started screaming, and all of a sudden I heard him go, "Yeah, what about your Jew dad?" And he comes running out, and then he punches me in the face. She comes running behind him, saying, "Why are you always attacking him for no reason?" <laughs> Why, Mama, Mama, please. <laughs> Vicky! I'm so tired of my stress. Stop freaking out! Vicky, come back in the room. You don't understand that the moment you guys show up there, she's gonna switch my fucking hate and oh my god, I love him, I can't my, live without my him. My concern is I just wanna make sure she's okay. I do too. And the way to do that is gonna inquire, require a little bit more intricate than us filling out paperwork and hoping that he serves a little bit of time. Because this is a serious situation, and as I've explained, it's gone on for nine years. It, as serious as this, is, it's a battery that yeah. occurred outside of our presence. It will be submitted to the district attorney. Yeah. It's up to them to decide if they're going to put out a warrant for his arrest for the battery. If he we, was, we don't make that information, we're not going to go arrest him from here. Yeah. It, it is a misdemeanor that occurred outside of our presence, and it's up to you to be the one to file the complaint. You have a son who needs you. Do not beg your head. Sorry. Mama. I am recording, just you know. No, I just have to tell you legally so we can use it later. What's going on with that? Nobody's property as of right now. I pay not, for not, the rent, though. I know, and I'm a person that's As the information that's we have right now, that's considered trespassing. 
That's why we detained him. I've been here long enough that I can Vicky, it looks like it maybe was a type of scam where you paid somebody rent, but they weren't the owner. Jace is going to the Mojave Desert Jail right now. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I'm pissed off. Can you, uh, can you get it loud or whatever? What it is, is he, he, was, he was bumping music earlier. I had a feeling that was bad. Yeah, see? Well, I don't know right now. Right now, it's just me and my stepdad. So that's uh, it. I'm on my way right now. What, here? Yeah, I'm going to be on my way that way right now. Okay. So the cop said that somebody else owns the trailer. Someone named Kim. Kim owns the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so Kim says that because no. Vicky paid rent to you. No. Oh. You guys told the cops. You guys told the office that you've been paying me rent for a year. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what they just no, told me. Who just told you that? that? That's what the yeah. office just told me, man. We got a video of it. Yeah. All. It is a misdemeanor that occurred outside of our presence, and it's up to you to be the one to file the complaint. Is that something that you want to do? Probably not. <laughs> Do you want to press charges? I don't know, man. The but moment far, that they got wind that I was having this conversation, everything would be... They just put on a show for us? Yeah, you. it would be for you, yeah. And then I'd be in danger. He'd kill me. I mean... <laughs> just a boyfriend, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> No, I want to hear what you said. Say that again, please. I said, how could he be a federal agent and be a Nazi? You were just telling me he's it's, a white power. It's, it's almost amazing. Is there, That's you guys, what I don't understand. Do you guys have a ceiling with Kern County sheriffs? An IQ ceiling? Because, come on, really? You don't think there'd be a reason to have federal agents with white power tattoos go undercover? Okay, so like I, <laughs> like I said before, I mean, how can we help you? Well, I need to talk to another man. I'm asking you as a man, Seth, to fucking talk to people. What are you doing? What do you want me to do? Fucking, I, I don't know, man. You're fucking, how old are you? 43. Okay, you got 20 something years on me. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the last eight of them, I've watched every guy she's with okay, well, fuck with her to the point that she doesn't even know who she is anymore. Yeah, well, look, this is what she does. She runs off and goes and finds dope dealers to come to her aid. Well, I'm sure she does. That's what. That's been the whole point. That's all they've been doing year after year. The guys before you fattened her up. The ones that made her lose custody of Stone that she was living with. For, for weeks and weeks, they kept cooking stews and steaks. She kept joking. She's like, it's like they're fattening me up. And then one day they just became tweakers. After fattening her up and making her body image really fucked up, they just became tweakers in the house. So what did she do? She did tweak, and then she lost her son. So you want to come to me as a man, I'm going to tell you what I've seen year after year. And if I saw you as separate from that pattern, that would be great. The only person I saw separate from that pattern was a guy named, uh, who, who she's known for years. And what happened? 
a cop moves into the house with them, gets them all tweaked out, breaks up their relationship. The one guy who didn't fuck with her, someone moves into the house and fucks up the whole thing. Now you come into her life. Now you come into her life literally the day after your best friend steals everything I own. Okay? At the same time. Now hold on, hold on. Yeah. As soon as I found out, because you got the hat back, okay? Yeah. As soon as what happened when I got the hat back? Look, listen, listen. Mm. Victoria approached me in a park. This is how I met Victoria, okay? Yeah. She came up to me in a park and asked me for a cigarette. Yeah, I know. All right? That's how me and Victoria, as soon as she told me mm -hmm. that you were her stepdad, mm -hmm. all right? I literally, you can ask her, I confronted Miracle. I grabbed him by the back of the neck and said, everything you stole from that dude, you can do whatever you can to get it back. And then what happened? Huh? And then what happened? I did what I could. That dude was not my friend. She told me to stop kicking it with him, and I told him to bounce. And then he shows up on her mother's death anniversary. So we're, we're at the park on her mother's death anniversary. Miracle shows up. Miracle didn't show up that day. You want to see videotape of Miracle showing up that day? I wasn't there. Me, you, and her were sitting at the park. Miracle shows up. And you guys, remember that's the time that she, that she thought he was flirting with you and she flipped the fuck out? on the bike over here on I. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Miracle shows up, she says she sees him making cutesy eyes at you and she throws a huge fit. The only thing I remember us meeting at the park, it was for her birthday. No, I'm talking about May 7th, her mother's death anniversary. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't know. Because I, every I day, the day since her. the day you met her, every single holiday since the day you met her, you have made our life a living hell. On her, on my birthday, Mother's Day, you made her cry five times. What kind of boyfriend makes, you know she lost her kid and you make her cry five times on Mother's Day, which just happens to be my birthday. Five times. So come to me as a man and explain that. People have arguments. You made her cry five times on Mother's she Day. She cries over the simplest thing. She cried because you... I can tell her I'm leaving and she cries. I, I can't even walk out the door to look for a cigarette button and she cries. And why is that? Huh? Why is that? Because she's obsessed with me, Seth. Yes, and why is that? Because she's in love with me. The same reason why I let her go at it and fucking get her money. Because I love her. I will let her put me through whatever pain she can. She can fucking stab, poke. I don't care if you got a knife. You think you can whack me and take my life? Have at it. I've been stabbed. I've been shot. Been there, done that, bud. Okay. So what do you want from me? I'm asking you, fucking. You've known her a little bit longer, okay? She fucking tells me. Okay, we had our issues in Rosemont. She says she wants the fucking relationship to work, but she's not letting it. She's still hung up on the fucking shit that happened, okay? Oh, my God.
Stop it! Fuck, dude! Fuck! I'm not asking her to forget it. I'm not asking her to forget to forgive me. Or I'm asking her to forgive, but not to forget, okay? Because it's you need forgive, but don't forget. About what? The shit that's happened. The shit that went down on on uh, July Fourth. Well, yeah. Okay. Another holiday. It was actually before the holiday. No, I know, but she found out on July 4th. Right. Okay, well, I've asked her. Don't, I'm not asking you to fucking forget about it, okay? Because I know you're not. I mean, as a woman, you're not going to forget about that. But if you want to work on moving on in our fucking relationship, you have to be able to forgive me sometime. Back and forth, dude. You didn't just randomly meet her at that fucking park, dude. You what met you her. What are you talking about? You were standing there when Mark fucking pushed her away and you were standing right there. I didn't even know her though, is what I'm saying. I had never even seen Victoria until that day at the park. I would never laid Which out happened to be the same, was it the same day that your best friend stole all my stuff or was it a day after? Which I don't, I'm not sure, but I had never laid eyes on Victoria until that day she asked me for a cigarette. I swear to God, I put that on my mother. No, I, I never I, laid eyes on her because if I had, she'd have been the first woman I would get at. So, Again, I don't know what you want me to do. Talk to her, fucking tell her she's got to be a reason as an adult. You have to go around. Victoria!